live from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, you always need to bring your best in terms of dress wear. Oh, and I got the really good stuff on today. I spent a lot of money in the stores, probably more than I should have. But you know what? Let's focus on the game. The credit card bill is on its way. So is the start of this one. The opening tip corralled by the Lakers, and we're underway in downtown Los Angeles. To James. Davis. James. Deep two there, won't go. Hawks have it. Trey Young. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. Oh, that's a great way to make an opening statement. It's about the team that's able to punch the other team in the mouth first. That's exactly what you want to do if you're the road team. Davis to James. Goes to the left side. Download this all. Hawks have the board. From long range. Buries it. It's a three. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. To James. They love this hustle. James to Gasol. Caldwell Pope. Off the mark. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. LeBron James with the rock. To Davis. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> if LeBron James wins one championship in L.A., that means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. Gasol sends it away. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Look out, Larry Nance Jr. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Caldwell Pope. Not that time. He missed it. Parker into the front court. Lead stance at seven to Trey Young. A oh, big finish at the rim. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Los Angeles has the basketball. Schroeder to Davis. Schroeder. Not getting the bounce. Parker with it. It's a nine-point lead. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. He'll run the offense. LeBron James. First couple didn't go. That one is true. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Count the bucket for two. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. James into the front court. Nine-point margin. Deep left corner. Davis. His first effort off the mark. Shot from the lane, won't go. To Davis. James, to Davis. James, can't get the bounce. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Time to shuffle things up.
Schroeder to Caldwell Pope. Dennis Schroeder. Parker grabs the rebound. Now preparing to shoot at the line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximum effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Schroeder with the basketball, trailing by 11. To Caldwell Pope, beyond the arc for three. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Jay, I'm gonna say that you don't know this, but since 1980, the Hawks have drafted only four players to have appeared in the All-Star game. Doc Rivers, Kevin Willis, Al Horford and Jeff T. Well, how about a guy named Dominique Wilkins? I'm sorry. Oh, well, interesting that you'd ask. Dominique Wilkins was actually selected by the Utah Jazz. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. He made his first effort, but not that time. To James. Here's a chance from long range. Jay, they've been waiting for that to go down, but here they are trying to chip away and cut into this margin. And there's nothing more frustrating as a shooter to get open looks and not see the ball go in. But if they do, that could be the start of a problem. To Trey Young. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. I don't think these kind of shots are tough for Trey Young. You see, he's always been the smallest guy on the court, so he's had to finish through the trees. He's a lot tougher than he gets credit for. His first quarter struggles from deep continue. It's no good. Jafari Parker rocking the rim. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Nothing going here on that drive. That pass stolen by the Hawks. Parker. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Fires the three. Rebound claimed by the Hawks. Trey Young. Great feed. Sets it up. Gets to the basket and scores. As a player, there's nothing better than coming out in the first quarter and playing exactly the same way you played the last couple of days of practice. You're moving the ball, you're capitalizing on mistakes, and you really built a nice lead. Davis, that's off the side of the rim, short. Slams it down. They cannot be stopped right now. Sometimes your opponent is not even in the game from the start. That's the way you run the floor, and you put the pressure on them right away in the first quarter. LBJ. To Davis. Fires the three. No good. And stuffs it home. Whew, I don't think anyone saw this one coming, but it looks like they're trying to send a message. Look into their eyes. They're laser focused. They're playing as if this game is tied.
Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. To Matthews. Let's it fly for long range. Well contested. Wesley Matthews can't hit it. Now a steal by Atlanta. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. To Matthews. From the painted area, won't go down. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. Good look that time, but off the mark. To Matthews. 4-3. Those shots today have been few and far between in what has been an uneasy first quarter. And Ed, sometimes that's all you need. Just get one or two to fall. Find the rhythm, find the rhyme. You got plenty of time. To Trey Young. And a whistle. Timing was just a tad bit off. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Entering the game for Atlanta, number 24. Trey Young. Knocks it down from mid range. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Lakers ball. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Finally. I mean, finally something goes their way. I don't think I need to tell you, but this has been a disaster of a first quarter. They just need somebody to get hot, and then they need to come together as a team and get a few stops. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. that for a start 14 points in this first quarter as he knocks down the three and look i know this requires great conditioning on the defensive part but you have to start denying him the ball make him catch the ball further away from the basket good contest made it tough for kuzma and there's always so much talk about defense how about offensively if you continue to attack that shooter now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end Here's Schroeder with it. His guys down big to Kyle Kuzma. Matthews. He was all over him. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Here's Atlanta. Probing the defense. And the rebound taken down by the Lakers. Schroeder goes to the right side. To Schroeder. Going to launch. The on the arc. Off the mark. No good. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a Laker. It remains Atlanta basketball. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. There was some contact there. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. And he powers it home. Two more points for Anthony Davis. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. To Matthews. 
has a look. The shot almost. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. It's the Hawks with the basketball. And they call it. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Trey Young at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. First one's counted. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. From long range, those shots today have been few and far between in what has been an uneasy first quarter. And that sometimes that's all you need. Just get one or two to fall. Find the rhythm, find the rhyme. You got plenty of time. Can't miss those. Markeith Morris rejects it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Beyond the arc for three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. Trying to cash in. Long key from three quarters court. This quarter's in the books. The Hawks already pulling away. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Into the front court comes Collison. His guys holding the big lead. Anthony Davis swats it. Oh, he blocked that with authority. John Collins uh, tips it. Just incredible timing on that swat. Contavious Caldwell Pope pins it. Couldn't keep it in. Off Contavious Caldwell Pope. Collison. James clears the rebound. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Off the iron. No good. Knocked loose. Lakers come up with it. Caldwell Pope. Anthony Davis. He's now four for six. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Hawks with the basketball. And that's rebounded by the Lakers. To Caldwell Pope. It's James. Missed it. Look out. Anthony Davis with the slam. Brow down, Ed, when you come into my town. Wow, you rhyming right there? Obviously. Cruises inside for two. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. LeBron into the front court. Down a bundle. Down low for Davis. Off the assist. Hand down, man down. You gotta get up and contest the shot. Collison into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. 
And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Darren Collison has got two shots coming. A career 85% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. Looking to make something happen. Here's a chance from long range. Still hasn't hit from deep in the first half. No good. Deep right corner. Collison. Collison, it's good with no defender in sight. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. Kuzma to Schroeder. Gets it in the left corner. Caldwell Pope. And he still can't find his range from deep. It's no good. Into the front court comes Collison. He'll run the offense. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jay. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. Time for some new personnel into the game. to Collison. And scores. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Caldwell Pope. Schroeder. And he hits. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Collison, here again, Schroeder. Almost unlucky bounce. Just the thought of coming into the lane amongst the trees, that shot was altered before he even took it. Fires the three. The rookie, Herder, unbothered, buries the three. Ugh, did you see the way the ball came off his hands? Not the best form in the world, but it is where it is. Count it. Maybe just don't count on it all the time. And the reward, he's going to the line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Team foul, number three. Darren Collison, couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect from the line so far. Knocks down the first. Hits the first, misses the second. Matthews to Gasol. Slam dunk! I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. Tight space with the crossover. Nance. Oh, had him going there for a second. Not that time. To Matthews. Kuzma. That pass stolen by the Hawks. When you're outmatched talent-wise, you cannot get outworked. Get that ball back. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Davis to Matthews. Dennis Schroeder. Hawks have the rebound. To Collison. Fires the three. That's off the side of the rim. No good. To Matthews. 
Yes, Wesley Matthews. Two of four now. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and then you can get it any way you want it. Shot clock winding down. Deep two there, won't go. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. It's Atlanta ball and a whistle. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. to Kevin Herter. He gets it. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. James to Davis. Goes to the left side. Caldwell Pope. Good offense, beating good defense. Kentavious Caldwell Pope with the basket. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what court awareness. Knocked loose. Collison, here again, Schroeder. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Wide open look, won't go. Davis, now a steal by Atlanta. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Herter gets the two. And you best believe that every one of those that goes in fills the confidence meter. Los Angeles, they have it. Schroeder to Caldwell Pope. Let's it fly from long range. It's good for three. Just let me break down to all the young players at home how special of a pass this was. That was a perfect delivery, and it hit the player right in the chest. To Parker. 4-3. And the Lakers clear. To Caldwell Pope. And breaks it up. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away. And you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Fine for the basket. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. LeBron with it up top. His guys down big. Davis. They work it down to Gasol. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Mark Gasol. He's now shooting five for seven. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. And the defender over pursues. And he's called for it. A simple touch foul. Free throw is good. Number 40, Wesley Matthews. Goes two for two. To Davis. Oh, he had him there for a second. James to Davis. Deep left corner. Matthews. 
Tough shot. Well defended. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. James to Davis. James to Caldwell Pope. Lakers down to four on the shot clock to Caldwell Pope. Off the mark. And an eight second violation. It's going the other way. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Matthews to Caldwell Pope for three. That's off the side of the rim, short. Jabari Parker, he's three for seven. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Davis to Caldwell Pope, going to launch beyond the arc. Can't connect. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. First one goes down. And gets both to drop at the line. Caldwell Pope to Matthews. Caldwell Pope. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Oh, he had it. To Gasol. Davis. Gasol. Gets a look, and a put-back slam. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. The drive, right to the basket. Oh, straight down the middle for two. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Lakers at the controls right now to Davis. Matthews. Caldwell Pope. Gathered in by Parker. Knocked loose. Lakers have it. Give him two points. High percentage. Trey Young to Parker. To Trey Young. Working it outside. From long range, buries it on the catch and shoot. They're shooting the ball well, but let me tell you why. They're already ready to shoot before they even catch the ball. Look at their hands. Their hands are ready, providing a target. So when they catch that ball, they go right into their shot. We call that being shot ready. Davis to Gasol. Can't connect. Hawks have it. To the rim. Lays it up and in. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Kuzma. 
So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him. Control. Layup's good at the buzzer. Nice finish. And the first half has come to an end. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. guys let's take a look at what went down so far in this one the Hawks were the dominant team in that first half without question it was their playmaking the way they gave each other scoring opportunities that really impresses me I love seeing unselfish basketball like that These are the guys getting buckets for the Atlanta Hawks. The Lakers did a lot of things wrong in that opening half. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. Game track. Points in the paint. The Los Angeles Lakers are in a situation where if I was the coach of the team, I'd hope they'd be insulted by the way they gave up points in the paint. Going into the second half, these guys really need to have some pride and be more assertive around the basket defensively. Let's see if they can learn from the mistakes they made, particularly. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on the show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Decided. What will the second half bring? We'll find out as we're underway. Here's Atlanta. Marcus all with a piece. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Nice pass to set things up. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. And they call it. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Wesley Matthews. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Beyond the arc for three. Had made his first three, but that shot off the mark. Davis to Caldwell Pope. Flushes it home. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. Parker to Kevin Herter. The pass taken away by the Lakers. 
You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Whistle stops play. Timeout here for Atlanta as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Sends it away. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft with sides and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. Davis to Caldwell Pope. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Contavious Caldwell Pope is going to get three shots here for his career, 78% at the line. To the line and hits the first free throw. Uh -huh. Second of three right, off the mark. One time, one time. Here we go. It's the Hawks with the basketball. Down the lane to lay it in. Okay, you don't get a 10 for style points, but it worked. Caldwell Pope to James. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play for his career, 73%. Throws good to cap off the three-point play as they draw a tiny bit closer. To Parker. Here comes the screen. The pass set it all up. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. To Kevin Herter. LeBron James, huge block. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Davis, and he's fouled, and he earns a trip to the line. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls.
first one, count it. That boy got jumper. That one won't go. One more to come. with the basketball. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jack. I can't believe I'm about to say this about an NBA team because this is what I say to my grammar school team. But just because a team is down on the scoreboard doesn't mean you stop playing hard and smart. You really have nothing to lose but really good habits to gain. And he connects on the first free throw. good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Trouble getting the ball across half court. Marcus all able to recover with the block. That's his third block this evening. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. To Parker. Down for Collins. Throws it down. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. That pass stolen by the Hawks. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Here's a chance from long range. It's no good. Shots not going down. This always happens. You knock down a lot of shots in the first half, and in the second half, you start to lose your rhythm. You need to have legs. Shoot at the pinnacle of that jump. It's Atlanta ball. To Trey Young. Finishing inside the paint on that one. I've seen him float so much on the perimeter, I forgot he even had that kind of physical presence. Good to see him beating up on people down low again. Driving right to the basket to James. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. LeBron James at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. Knocks down the first. Able to convert on both free throws. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. To Parker. Surveys the floor. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. 
fires the three. Can't go down. Smothering defense. When cold shooting like this starts in the second half, maybe utilize a head fake. Get that defender in the air, jump into him, create some contact, get to the free throw line. Trey Young. To Parker. With a drop step. With the basket after a nice drop step. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Curling inside. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Trey Young. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Got it. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Ferocious slam inside. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> LBJ has it. To Davis. Nothing going here on that drive. Davis. Schroeder can't connect. It's no good. To Trey Young. Mark Gasol with the block. Fourth this contest. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. And look out. Big finish at the rim. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Good there. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Schroeder to Davis. Fires the three. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Number zero, Kyle. Has a chance. And the rebound gathered in by Davis. Caldwell Pope. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Hawks have it. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room.
LeBron James trying to cash in on the three-point play. He's perfect in the line so far. One free throw good, so he converts on the three-point play, and the lead down to 11. Easy pass to the rim. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas, or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw good as he finishes off the three-point play. That shaves the deficit down to 10. A drive to the basket. Ooh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. It's James controlling the offense. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. LeBron James trying to cash in on the three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Free throw good, a three-point play, and they're back within single digits, down by nine. Connect from inside. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. LeBron into the front court. His guy's down 11. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one on one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Baseline drive. Gets to the basket, but it's no good. To Caldwell Pope. Goes reverse to lay it in. There's no better feeling after a game, after you had 25-plus assists and you won the game, and everybody recognizes that it's time for their bank accounts to get rewarded. it out of the air. Five to shoot for Atlanta. Has a look. Well defended. Shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. LeBron oh. knocked away. It's getting dangerous down there. And I hated getting my shot blocked like that, but I did like getting the ball right back. Collison. 
Baseline drive. Shot from the lane, won't go. To James. Trying to cash in. Deep two there, won't go. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. LBJ with it. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. And count the basket. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that the freedom of space to dance with the ball, there's no telling what kind of break dance move they might hit you with. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. To Davis. Stuffs it down with authority. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Stuffs it down with authority. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Collison. Three. Has a chance. Not going down for him this time. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a Laker. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Number three. 20-footer. The buzzer that ends the third quarter the Hawks with the lead It'll be Lakers ball as we begin the fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes, and you're right back in the ball game. Doesn't get the bounce. Here's Atlanta. Probing the defense. To Trey Young. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Slams it down. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. Schroeder with the basketball. The deficit now up to five. Kuzma to James. Finishing inside the paint on that one. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Trey Young. Left, left, left. Look out, Larry Nance Jr. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, 
Sign me up. Scores from the post. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt or you'll be left behind. Trey Young to Collison. Screen coming. Let's it fly from long range. That one off the mark. It's no good. Okay, okay. I know you were knocking down everything in the first half, but that's not the case so far in the second. Maybe it's time to start executing your offense. And flushes it down. No stopping AD here. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Trey Young to Collison. Here comes the screen. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Collison into the front court. Leads just a point. Trey Young. And he's fouled. A couple of free throws coming up, Jay. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. Larry Nance Jr. He's got two shots coming for his career, 68%. First free throw is good. He makes them both. For Atlanta, number five, Jabari Parker. It's James controlling the offense. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Ah, no good. 4 3. Not a good shot there as he misses it. Trey Young turns and slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Jabari Parker rocking the rim. And I know I'm not supposed to be biased. I'm not supposed to be rooting for guys, but I'm riding with Jabari. Get your work. LeBron James with the rock. Nothing going here on that drive. Lays it up and in. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. The Hawks will use a timeout. They'll catch their breath in what's now a five-point game. The difference is going to be the best player on the court. He's a guy that you have to trust in. He has to get the ball. And sometimes as a coach, you need to let go and let your best players do what they do. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Number 33, Mark Gasol. Subbing in, 
split the D there, but he can't get it to drop. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. And he's going to the line to shoot. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. First one goes down. Goes two for two at the line. It's the Hawks with the basketball. To Collison. He was all over him. Missed the shot. No free throws. Here's Schroeder with it. His guy's down three. With the interception. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Has a look, and he hits. Look at that, calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Across the timeline comes James. Looking to make something happen. For three, rebound comes to Atlanta. To Parker. Off the assist. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. To Caldwell Pope. Five to shoot for Los Angeles. James. 24 second violation. New blood coming in for both sides. Subbing in for LA. Mark Gasol rejects it. Ooh, five now. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Count the basket inside. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. You need to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Montrez Harrell at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Numbers not in his favor, 61% for his career. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Los Angeles has the basketball. James to Schroeder. Takes stock of the floor. Matthews to James. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. LeBron James trying to cash in on a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free 
throw is good to cap off the three-point play. And the lead is down to three. To Parker. The Hawks with four to shoot. Going to launch beyond the arc. Textbook defense. When you have cold shooting like this in the second half, you have to find other ways to score than just relying on the three-point shot. Maybe try turning that corner off that PNR and get into the rack. And he'll head to the line. Montrez Harrell. A couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect from the line so far. And hits the first free throw. Free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. To Parker. Knocked loose. He's on the deck. Great sacrifice. Trying to cash in. Harold can't connect. Larry Nance Jr. swats it. Hawks with the basketball. LeBron James ah, tips it. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. So again, for Atlanta, James into the front court. His guys now down by a point. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. To Parker. Knock loose. Lakers come up with it. Gets a look. Can't hit. Trey Young to Parker. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. His team up by one. And the slam. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. It's Atlanta ball to Parker. Lakers have it. Perfect feed to set up the basket. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way, though. And Jay, they call the foul. Just a tic-tac foul. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Too easy. Defense has to communicate. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. And he finishes at the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. Cashes in for two. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Nothing going here on that drive. Gasol, good for two. Great footwork once again. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Gentavious caldwell Pope pins it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. To Caldwell Pope. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. And Ed, not every pass needs to be a home run pass or a thread the needle. Sometimes an easy kick ahead or an easy shuffle pass can make the game simple. The more simplistic the game is, the more efficient you'll be as a unit. With a piece. Just incredible timing in that slot. It's a big finish. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. LBJ. To Gasol. 
Nothing going here on that drive. Gasol. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Has a chance. Yes. It drops. A little drama on that one. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Now a steal by Atlanta. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. LeBron into the front court. Two-point advantage. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, emphatic slam. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Now the Hawks coach going to call a timeout. It's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one more chance to stop the clock before the buzzer sounds. Changes coming from both sides right now. Beyond the arc for three. Gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. First one, count it. Two for two on that trip. Whistle stops play. Timeout here for Atlanta. It's their second and final one of the last three minutes. They cannot stop the clock again. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Not that time. He misses. Now we get a whistle. They'll wrap him up with the intentional foul. And a little over 20 seconds left to play. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. And he connects on the first free throw.
Goes two for two. out Larry Nance Jr. See Ed that's what I love you don't need to conserve your energy you attack that rim with ferocity you always set yep, the tone. I got, I got him. Here we go. Here's LeBron for two. Won't go. Nice pace sets it up and slams it down. foul and a chance at three coming up the offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can number one create contact and number two still get the ball up you need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist Montrez Harrell at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw good and an important one as it makes it a two-score game. The Lakers get the victory as they win this one by four. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Sports post game wrap up. The Lakers emerged victorious after a tight finish. The defense in this matchup was outstanding. When they weren't blocking shots, they were making steals. And it all came together for a terrific win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Hawks lost a tight one today, and you can see the disappointment. While they did put together quite a highlight reel of dunks in this matchup, they did not put together a win. As we all know, style points never show up on the scoreboard. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Atlanta Hawks. Game track. Assists. It's a shame. Only one team can win when you have such great team basketball on display. The ball movement was tremendous. Game. LeBron James seemed to think he could only score points with dunks in this game. Again and again. He kept throwing them down. And it was just astonishing. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course, but even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Time now for the top plays of the game. Number two.
These are the upcoming games for the Los Angeles Lakers. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.